surprised to see the market in the report full of different produce. Are the economic conditions improving in the capital only or nationwide? Indeed, the country faced an enormous economic in the 1990s during this time of so-called arduous march, even rationed food was improperly distributed. People started the free markets, which used to be banned in order to survive, and the government had no choice but to sanction them. However, the more the ordinary people engaged in economic activities, the wider the income disparity became among local people. The authority is said to be frustrated over the white gap. The festivity of the 70th anniversary of the party of this country is apparently the chance for the government to unify the populace. It was a reporter, Takahiro de Nagasna. The North Korean watch watchers are Kim Jong Un delivers as a speech during the military parade tomorrow. If he does, they are interested in what kind of messages that he tries to communicate to the international community. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. Many Japanese people hoped the Nobel Peace Prize would go to an organization or individual in Japan. Instead, it went to a group that contributed to the democratization of Tunisia. The year 2015 marks the 70th anniversary since two atomic bombs were dropped on Japan. There were hopes the Nobel Peace Prize would go to a group of atomic bomb survivors working to bring about the global abolition of nuclear weapons. The Office of the Japan Confederation of Atomic and Hydrogen Bomb Sufferers organizations logged onto the internet to listen to the announcement. The Nobel Peace Prize for 2015 is to be awarded to the Tunisian National Dialogue Quartet. The head of the group, Tirumitana, it would be the last chance for the group. He says he's very disappointed. This year's Nobel Peace Prize went to four groups that comprise the Tunisian National Dialogue Quartet, which was formed in 2013. Tunisia overthrew its dictatorship regime in the Arab Spring pro-democracy uprisings of 2011. However, during the initial democratization process, a number of opposition politicians were assassinated and the nation was thrown into turmoil. The Tunisian National Dialogue Quartet served as mediators between the ruling and opposition camps after their differences widened. It helped bring about a new political framework. The committee in Oslo expressed hope hopes that Tunisia's example will be followed by other nations in the Middle East, Africa and elsewhere that are aiming to achieve democracy. The Japan Confederation of Atomic and Hydrogen Bomb Sufferers Organizations may have missed out on the Nobel Prize, but they're still determined to work towards the abolition of nuclear weapons. The senior member says there's no reason to despair or feel disappointed. The group cannot feel joy unless nuclear weapons are eliminated and the entire mankind rejoices in its development. Another Another member says the association is not aiming to win a peace prize. He says the aim is to eliminate nuclear weapons and create a world free of wars. He says the group must also aim to nurture successes that will continue to pursue their goals. Now, in today's watch. Finance ministers and central bank governors from the G20 nations have ended their meeting in Lima, Peru. They discussed risks facing the global economy.
Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde, briefed the participants on the status of the global economy. She talked about how the downturn in China's economy is affecting and slowing down the economies of emerging and developing countries. She said economic growth is slowing throughout the world. The participants confirmed the risks facing the global economy. They agreed to make efforts to strengthen the growth power of certain countries with an eye towards the G20 summit scheduled for next month in Turkey. Japan's Finance Minister Taro Aso says China will host a G20 gathering next year and Japan will host a G7 meeting. He says the government must suddenly carry out structural reforms towards realizing sustainable economic growth. Japan's Justice Minister Mitsuhide Iwaki has consulted the members of the Ministry's Legislative Council on the possibility of revising the criminal code so that heavier statutory penalties can be imposed on sex offenders. A panel of experts at the Justice Ministry compiled a report on sex crime penalties in August. The report said the crime of sexual assault resulting in death or injury carries penalties lighter than those for robbery resulting in injury. The report noted that many people believe that sexual assault charges should carry heavier penalties. Today, the Justice Minister consulted the General Assembly of the Legislative Council about the possibility of toughening the law on sex crimes. Iwaki called for discussion on imposing heavier penalties on sexual assault resulting in death or injury, allowing prosecutors to indict the accused in rape or molestation cases without complaints from victims, which is required under the current law, as well as expanding the scope of what constitutes a crime of rape. The AMA Prefectural Assembly has adopted a resolution allowing the restart of a reactor at the Ikata nuclear power plant. In July of this year, nuclear regulators decided that the number three reactor meets new safety standards. The Shikoku Electric Power Company says it plans to seek approval from AMA Prefecture to restart the reactor. A resolution acknowledging the need to do so was submitted today at a plenary session of the Hime Prefectural Assembly. The resolution was adopted. The Hime Governor Tokihiro Nakamura says he will make a final decision when three items are put forth. The central government's views on safety and necessity of the reactor, a commitment from the Shikoku Electric Power Company and the understanding of the municipality. Spanish authorities have demanded a 20-month jail term for Barcelona soccer star Lionel Messi for tax fraud. The Argentine national is accused of defrauding Spain's tax office of more than 4 million euros or 540 million yen in unpaid taxes from 2007 to 2009 by failing to declare earnings on his image rights. Spanish tax authorities filed a complaint against Messi and his father, who works as his agent. In court, Messi denied involvement, saying his father was in charge of managing revenue. It remains to be seen how the trial will affect Messi's future on the pitch. Twelve Pacific Rim nations reached a broad agreement on the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Pact this week. Japan's Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries has outlined how the TPP agreement will affect tariffs on a wide range of farm products and seafood that Japan imports once the accord takes effect. Currently, Japan imposes tariffs on 834 farm and seafood items, and the TPP tariffs on about half will be lifted. The ministry held a briefing for representatives of industry groups. About 400 people attended. A representative of Dairy Farmers Group says they will be in big trouble if tariffs on dairy products are lowered. He says Japanese dairy farmers will end up competing with each other. A maker of dried tofu says his business will get a boost if the price of high quality U.S. soybeans comes down. He relies on imports for most of the soybeans he uses and dropping prices will be good news. Vice Minister Kazuyoshi Honkawa says a broad agreement on the TPP was reached on Monday. He expects that they have a range of concerns about the TPP. He says the ministry will do its best to allay those worries.
participants of the meeting expressed concern about the impact that a flood of cheap imports.